Hi, I'm Photo Junkie from PhotoshopBus.co.uk. I want to quickly show you how you can um, put your own keyboard shortcuts into Photoshop and also some menu options as well. So the first thing I want to show you is how to load your own sets or presets of keyboard shortcuts. So they will come as these files, which are KYS files and these are basically sets of keyboard shortcuts now if you want to put them into Photoshop so you can have the option of choosing them in your um, keyboard shortcuts options box then you need to go to your app data Roman Adobe Photoshop CS6 presets keyboard shortcuts in here under presets you've also got menu customizations so if you change any of the options there they will go there keyboard shortcuts I'm going to grab these two so they're called basic first time shortcuts and I'm going to drop them in and minimize that and then open up Photoshop CS6 okay now to get to your um, menu options you go to the edit menu and you've got keyboard shortcuts and menu we're just going to do keyboard shortcuts and you'll see that menu sits in this box as well let's start with menus underneath set is where you will choose any sets loaded into your um, app data menu which I showed you just a moment ago we're just going to leave it on Photoshop defaults no save um, you can save sets at once finished by using these buttons here and you can chuck away using the bin okay so for menus let's just leave it on for panel menus I think application menus now your application menus are along the top here file edit image layer type select filter 3d view window help and your panel menus are things like your property panel your channels layers paths you know styles 3d all these that you get from your window menu okay so let's leave it on application menus let's just I'll show you an example if we twirl open file so there's this menu here you see the first one here we've got is new so we can assign a color to that we can go let's assign a red click OK now we'll do file you will see well it's actually pink it's actually assigned it to this um, to the new document option um, let's take that away you can also toggle the visibility on and off so we'll turn it off click OK go to file we've now got no new document now you're not really going to want to do that for um, new document um, but you can always use the keyboard shortcut control N which we're going to get to in a minute let's just click OK on that so we've got that new back so after you've um, played with this then you'll probably want to save the set and it will get saved into menu customization um, like shown at the start of this um, tip tutorial um, so keyboard shortcuts you want to come to set you can choose sets which have been loaded into the app data so there's then basic first time shortcuts which I loaded in there we'll just leave it as it is and you can choose shortcuts for your application menus which are along the top as I said also for panel menus which are these properties layers etc etc via the window menu like I said and also tools which are the ones along the side here now most of these tools have got shortcuts anyway so I probably wouldn't play about with any of them um, because you get used to using certain shortcuts and I'm certainly used to all of the shortcuts for these tool menus so let's just leave it on application menus and let me show you an example let's do filter and let's come down to blur now I like most people probably use Gaussian blur quite a lot so let's assign a keyboard shortcut where it says Gaussian blur we're just gonna click in that row and then we're just gonna choose the, con the key the keyboard shortcut from the keyboard that we want to assign to that menu filter option so I'm gonna do let's do control P and let's accept that now be aware and it will show you on most it hasn't showed on that but um, if you use control P for something else so probably print it will take it away from print you can still get to print via file print but you won't be able to do it via the control P shortcut because that will now open the Gaussian blur so if I choose lens blur, lens blur sorry, and do control D you'll see we've got a warning sign here and it says control D is already in use and will be removed from select deselect if accepted now I like control D for deselect so I won't want to use that for lens blur in fact I don't want to assign one so 
we can just do um, delete shortcut or we could have just done highlighted it and then just deleted it and then clicked off it so control P is fine and we'll just accept that there's some options here so you can undo and you can add a shortcut delete a shortcut and summarize um, same again you can save these sets and then you know you might want to share these sets so if you save them they will turn up in this keyboard shortcuts in your app data and then you can share them or save them or leave them as they are so let's click OK and I'll just open up any document here and I'll show you that if I press Control P it now brings up Gaussian Blur OK and if I go to Filter Blur Gaussian Blur you see it's got the Control P shortcut uh, and something else I want to show you. oh yes if you then you do a load of changes in your keyboard shortcuts and your menus and you assign a nice workspace maybe to match them shortcut shortcut <laughs> keyboard shortcuts then um, you probably yeah want to so uh, save the workspace so you might create your own workspace to do with video or to do with um, image correction um, or to do with 3D and you might assign specific shortcuts to do with 3D so it doesn't matter if you haven't got print or place or um, certain filters because you'll take all the shortcuts away from them and assign them to right, and assign them to um, 3D options and basically you then you can save that workspace I showed you this before by going to new workspace and it gives you the options of saving the keyboard shortcuts and the menu so you will click check these so click them yes give it a name and then it saved everything your how your workspace is set up and the keyboard shortcuts so then if you want to go back to st a standard workspace like this which is just called all palettes because I've got everything ready to come out here and it's got just standard um, keyboard shortcuts uh, that comes standard with Photoshop you can just choose back and you know that it's going to choose your change your keyboard shortcuts with that workspace so that's just something to remember um, and I think that's about all I want to show you for this well it's more kind of like a tip really than a tutorial and um, hope you've learned something from this and work in Photoshop a bit more easier don't forget to visit us at www photoshopbus.co.uk for a lot more tutorials, competitions, thousands of renders and um, yeah, be good to see you there. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.